Suspended animation in conjunction with critical care research presents the next generation in therapeutic hypothermia. The revolutionary portable liquid ventilation system, the fastest minimally invasive way to cool cardiac arrest patients in the hospital and in the field. Within minutes of cardiac arrest, the interruption of normal blood flow called ischemia starves the brain and vital organs of oxygen and nutrients. There are a number of medical techniques used to induce therapeutic levels of hypothermia, but none can be administered as simply and cool as effectively as the portable liquid ventilation system. Packing a patient in ice or ice water drops brain temperature a few degrees over several hours. If skilled medical professionals are available to catheterize or cannulate a patient for cold lavage or cardiac bypass, these procedures can take 35 minutes to an hour to cool the brain by 3 degrees. But using the liquid ventilation system, first responders can produce this temperature drop in as little as 15 minutes, without an ice bath and without invasive procedures. Why is liquid ventilation so much faster and more effective? Because it uses the patient's own lungs as powerful heat exchangers. First, an endotracheal tube is placed into the airway of the patient. With cardiac rhythm restored or supported mechanically, the liquid ventilation system's delivery tube is connected and the system is activated. The system's computer then begins delivering carefully controlled cycles of ice-cold liquid and oxygen in and out of the patient's lungs. The liquid is a perfluorocarbon that does not damage the lungs. It supports both rapid heat exchange and gas exchange. As all of the body's blood passes through nearly 70 square meters of the lung's surface area, the ice-cold perfluorocarbon removes heat and delivers oxygen. Cooled blood from the lungs then circulates normally to the brain and the rest of the body, cooling tissues as it travels. Warm perfluorocarbon from the patient's lungs cycles back to the liquid ventilation system. A heat exchanger submerged in ice water cools it again before recycling it to the patient. Sensors carefully monitor the patient's temperature and continue liquid ventilation cycling until the desired degree of protective hypothermia is achieved.